the Capitol Dome in Washington, you can see the goddess of freedom, also known as Semiramis, Queen of Babylon, who later became Isis of Egypt. Now, we suggest the dome itself represents the womb of the goddess. So, if the dome represents the womb of the goddess, we should find nearby the phallus of the god, ready to impregnate her and bring forth the spirit of the sun god. And we most certainly do. Facing the dome is the phallus of the sun god, the Washington Monument. During his research for his amazing book, Apollyon Rising 2012, which actually hit number one in the book charts the day of its release, Dr. Tom Horn traveled to Washington, D.C., where he met with Masons at the House of the Temple, the headquarters of the Supreme Council of the Scottish Rite. Horn says these men were very cordial and mostly responsive to his questions. They even confirmed his understanding of the influence of Freemasonry in American history. It was only when he pressed one of them about a ritual called the Raising Ceremony, the raising of Osiris from the dead, it's also known as, which is conducted in the temple room on the third floor of the building. It's only then that these masons became evasive and visibly uncomfortable. The reason for this, according to Dr. Horn, is that in addition to the raising ceremony being conducted when members reach the 33rd degree of Scottish Rite Freemasonry, this strange ceremony is performed without public knowledge in this very temple room at the inauguration of every United States president. Why is that? Because deep esoteric meaning behind Egyptian and Rosicrucian magic that was incorporated into the rites and rituals of Freemasonry hold that the spirit of Osiris can be raised from the underworld and installed, for want of a better term, in the reigning king or president. According to Tom Horn, this is why the U.S. Capitol Dome is laid out so as to face the obelisk, the phallus of the sun god, known as the Washington Monument. An interesting point regarding the obelisk in Washington, the Washington Monument. The column is 6,666 inches high, and each side is 666 inches long. Now, Obviously, this cannot be an accident, because we remember that the Antichrist's number in the Bible is 666.